Hey there friends, today for Two Minute Monday, I wanna to talk to you about your past. How do you look at your past? Is it full of pain, regret, sorrow? What if instead you just decided that your past were perfect for you? What might that look like? Now I know what you might be thinking, oh that's really nice Sarah, but you just want me to be delusional. But I want you to ask yourself, what is the upside to believing that your past were horrible? What if you instead just decided it was the perfect learning experience for me, or it made me into the wonderful person that I am today? Now, how do you know if you're past focused? Think if, about if any of these statements sound familiar. I'm just not good at that, or I'm not the kind of person who can do that, or it's just the way I've always been. Now, I love what my favorite Disney monkey says about the past. Rafiki says, you can either run from it or learn from it. So how about we learn from our past, but we don't define ourselves by it. And we don't, and we decide that we don't have to define ourselves by the things that we haven't accomplished yet. So let me tell you a little story about my past. For years, I told myself that I just wasn't athletic. And you know what I found? All the evidence and all the reasons for why I was not athletic. I didn't score as many goals as I wanted to on the soccer team, and I wasn't as quick of a runner as I wished I were on the cross country team. And at some point I just decided, you know what? I'm done telling myself this story about my past. What if I were an athlete? And I started to get curious about what if I were, and guess what I found? All of this evidence for why actually I am an athlete. I'm really athletic. So I want you to think about your past and the painful stories that you're telling yourself and decide if they're serving you and what you want to believe instead. And how about instead of focusing on the past, we all just do a 180 degree turn and we set our sights toward the future instead. What might that be like if we took all of the energy that it takes to regret our past and feel sadness and sorrow and pain about it and we focused it on what we want to create for our future? What would that look like? Think about it and then go create an amazing future for yourself.